These are LSLs. These are made with chips of wood and they're pressed together with waxes and resins and they form a very dense product that is extremely strong, much stronger than traditional dimensional lumber. These are used in applications where they're going to be on a wall that has cabinets being hung on them. So your cabinet maker is probably going to thank you for that because the wall itself will be super straight, super easy to hang them on. He won't have to shim out the wall to have the cabinets plumb and level because the wall is already plumb and level. So the downside to these guys is because of their dense properties, it's really hard to kind of shoot a nail through them. You have to up the PSI and the nail gun a little bit. Otherwise, the, the nail head will stick out probably a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. So the key is just upping that PSI and using a bigger gun, getting that nail through. And that's not really a disadvantage, I suppose, as much as, much as it's a, um, just something to be aware of. But the biggest disadvantage with LSLs is the price point. They're extremely expensive, much more expensive than traditional lumber. But they're, you know, the pros outweigh the cons, in my opinion, especially if you're building higher end homes. You're not going to see them in uh, lower price ranges. But you'll see them in higher end homes for sure, where they bring a lot of value. They, this is an exterior wall right here. So if you look up at that top plate where the trusses are resting on the wall, they are plenty strong enough to hold the entire roof load. All of that weight is sitting on this wall. It's an exterior wall, so obviously it's a load bearing wall. But plenty strong enough. They're stronger than dimensional lumber, like I said. Lots of pros. The only real con is the price, but those are LSLs.